Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Shurkin Feed Center. It is under the Division of Animal Production and Health of the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries. My name is Dr. Celine Warren and I'm the Acting Deputy Director here. Welcome to the Wildlife Unit. This unit was first commissioned in 2014 by a cabinet note to provide uh, educational forum for the conservation, production, and utilization of wildlife. Here at the Shagin Peace Center, we concentrate on the red rocket there, the agouti, and capybara. We have a lot of demonstrations to farmers to promote the utilization of wildlife as an alternate source of uh, income. And the unit is being managed by Mr. Rajesh Bajan, who will take us through the unit and what he does here. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Rajesh Bajan. I'm one of the agriculture research officer at Dutch Asia Kimpi Centre. Um, this morning we are here in the wildlife unit and just to make mention of some of the threats facing wildlife in Trinidad and Tobago. Some of these threats include deforestation, we have um, slush and burn agriculture, overhunting and pollution. This unit was developed to encourage conservation of indigenous species named the Diaguti, Lap, Capybara and Red Rocket Deer. The species we'll be looking at this morning is Diaguti. Diaguti is one of the most hunted species in Trinidad and Tobago. And this unit here is a production unit for farming Aguti. So focusing on housing for Aguti, Aguti are rodents by nature, hence the reason for having concreted floors. The floors are slightly slow to encourage ease of waste management. Now, being a rodent, the Aguti has a tendency to gnaw, meaning chew on any uh, metal, wood that they find in the, um, in the enclosure. Hence the reason for having metal cups or concreted um, water troughs. Water troughs on the flooring system are uh, PVC encased in a concrete so the animal would not bite or gnaw on the concrete. Right? The cages are made with BRC, 2x2 two two BRC encased with mesh wire, 1 inch, from floor level all the way to the height of the roof. The reason for that is the animal will not escape. They will climb, they have a tendency to climb as you see. They will climb on top of the cages and they will try to escape the enclosure. So we need to secure the animals within each enclosure. Now there are what we call micro, micro environmental changes that we make to facilitate the animals. Now, some of these animals in cages are pregnant. So these cages are what we refer to as maternity cages. Now the maternity cages, they are housed or equipped with a uh, hollow clay block to allow baby or the aguti suckling to hide in the um, spaces within the blocks. Again, metal cups to prevent gnawing or destroying of the um, the water water continents. Mm -hmm. Right? The <coughs> concreted um, truck can also be used for administration of feed or medication. 